good afternoon ladies and gentlemen uh a very enlightening session by reena uh but i will take you through a very different journey now because uh i think the gentleman has just left the room who correctly rightly said that the indian scenario of textile industry is very different what policies what branding what issues are we looking at yes they pertain to human resource but with the textile industry the scenario is very difficult i would start with my presentation uh where in this presentation is a part of my research where in this presentation is a part of my phd this research did not came did not just come to my mind just like that i was the placement in charge for national institute of the fashion technology i am working there since last 13 years and the issues the problems which cropped up with the middle level managers actually made me think that yes there is a scope of research there is a need of research into this area i would just begin with my presentation and i believe weaving the human thread in a garment before i start with my presentation i would like to tell you a story once upon a time there were two bee keepers who each had a bee hive the bee keepers worked for a company called bees incorporation company's customers loved its honey and wanted the business to produce more honey than it had the previous year as a result each bee keeper was told to produce more honey at the same quality with different ideas about how to do this bee keepers designed different approaches to improve the performance of the hives bee keeper 1 had the performance management approach as measured by how many flowers each bee visited bees were never told about the hive's goals to produce more honey wherein the second bee keeper communicated each bee the goal of the hive was to produce more honey bee keeper 1 created extensive measurement system to count the flowers each bee visited bee keeper 2 measured two aspects the amount of nectar each bee brought back to the hive and the amount of honey the hive produced bee keeper 1 provided feedback to each bee at mid season on his individual performance wherein bee keeper 2 said the performance of each bee and the hive's overall performance were charted posted on the hive's bulletin board for all bees to see bee keeper 1 created special awards for the bees who visited the most flowers and bee keeper 2 created a few awards for the bees that gathered the most nectar but the hive incentive program was there each bee was rewarded in the hive based on the hive's production of honey the more honey produced the more recognition each bee would receive the findings of the two approaches were bee keeper 1 his hive had indeed increased the number of flowers visited but the amount of honey produced by the hive had dropped the finding for the bee keeper 2 was more honey was produced reasons in bee keeper 1 the bees were so busy trying to visit as many flowers as possible that they limited the amount of nectar they would carry so that they fly faster the reason for the bee keeper too where the honey was produced more that the each bee in the hive was focused on the hive's goal of producing more honey the bee had concentrated their efforts on gathering more nectar to produce more honey than ever before bees in bee keep with bee keeper one felt that they were competing against each other awards so they would not share valuable information with each other which could have helped the performance of all the bees wherein in the second approach the bees work together to determine the highest nectar yielding flowers and to create quicker processes for depositing the nectar they had gathered they also worked together to help the queen bee of this hive reported the poor performers either improved their performance or they were transferred to another hive when the bee keeper one handed out the awards to individual bees there was unhappy buzzing in the background and the second when the bee keeper awarded each bee his portion of the hive incentive payment there was a loud happy buzz and jubilant flapping of the wings the moral says measuring and recognizing accomplishments 
rather than activities and giving feedback to the worker bees often improves the results of the hive i begin my presentation with this human resource management practices affecting employee performance in the garment manufacturing export firms in delhi and cr the evolution of hr has been since 1890 where people have been talking about protection of employees children moving towards 1914 where people talked about state unions labor compensation matters to 1980 where we shifted to improving effectiveness and efficiency until now wherein we think the employees are the champions to the shared services we move as strategic business partners today they a research says only 20% of the policies are written by hr but in future 100% of them will sooner or later involve hr i would like a, like to ask a question here which category does your organization fall into how many of you would say that hr writes less than 20% of the policies in your organizations one two okay 20% more than 20% okay that's good to know hr is definitely shifting its focus on the organization of the business to focusing on the business of the organization the factors responsible for contributions to business that are based mainly on people in manufacturing sector are productivity quality innovation and most importantly customers Henry Ford once said you can take my factories burn up my buildings but give me my people and i will bring the business right back four pillars of manufacturing units men money machinery material traditionally garment manufacturing firms enriched their base with quality material high end machines requisite money in spite of this these firms are on the threshold of losing their global market share so what is the missing part of the jigsaw puzzle it's men the formidable human resource the traditional role in the textile industry has been processing salary finding right people for the right job administration work we have still not moved to the new roles of better recruitment selection policies performance appraisals training development fulfilling esteem needs giving recognition improving work environment planning and executing hrm policies our industry has been ignoring hr department for long now it is more of a time function office that is to process salaries finding right people for right job significance of globally successful phenomena of lean manufacturing kaizen six sigma has contributed to the growth of this sector and helped india to become a global player to achieve many more milestones the focus now should be extended to the other aspects and it's now time for the industry to venture into human resource management there was a study by shobhna anand in 2003 of crisel on indian textile and garment industry which talked about three issues it said core competencies market responsiveness and third was professional management practices she emphasized that the garment units are family run businesses in india the infusion of professional management at senior level would enable them to access experienced and talented pool of manpower investments in it and communications would re reduce response time a study conducted by tufts university in 2006 they said factories with the most innovative hr systems experience significantly lower employee turnover than those with less sophisticated practices by contrast factories with weakest hr practices developed only 10 to 15% of their best workers internally the study also reflected that with each 1% increase in monthly employee turnover a factory's production efficiency rate declined by 0.16% the study suggested introduction of hr systems which would lead to enhanced efficiency productivity across the supply chain a study by dr bheda narag in singla in 2002 suggested that productivity of indian manufacturing firms is substantially lower than those in western countries improvement can be brought either by people or by machinery controllable factors associated with high productivity are training incentives pay systems and reward systems 
training programs not just for the labor but for the middle level management who can communicate well between the upper level management or the top level management to the lower level management a doctoral dissertation by henrietta lake said in 2006 that post mfa there is a move to engage suppliers to improve the human resource function at their firms which would impact suppliers productivity in a positive manner however the study highlighted the challenges of analyzing the most effective hrm practices and suggest research shows that it has to undertake performance effects of hrm practices in indian apparel industry therefore the need of the project was the rapid growth of apparel manufacturing firms degree of competition increasing pressure from buyers in context to csr issues increase in employee turnover cost of employee replacement also the absence of emphasis given on hr practices in the apparel export industry studies are only limited to service and retail industry in significant studies on middle level management almost all theory and evidence about the relationship between hrm and performance in the research is based in united states europe and other developed countries and that too in parallel manufacturing sectors the objective of the study was to link between hrm practices and employee performance that whether there is any link between the two the sub objectives were first to review and assess the current hr practices for its manufacturers in garment manufacturing export firms so the first was to understand what are the prevailing practices in the garment units to identify the most important parameters indicative of employee performance also understanding that out of the list which we have attained what are the important parameters which are affecting the employees performance in the garment industry the third objective is my phd completion objective which is to understand that whether these practices may lead better organizational performance or not the scope of the study was in garment manufacturing export firms in delhi and cr this was covered with the hr managers or the middle level managers only the methodology applied here there were two objectives of the study this time first was to identify important hrm practices factors what are the important there is a list of hrm practices there are so many issues there are things which we've just heard but which are important to the garment industry the method was through questionnaires and discussions with the middle level managers the respondents were hr managers the sample size right now was 15 we've moved up to 150 now second objective was to understand whether there is any link between the human resource management practices and employee performance it was also done through questionnaires and interviews and the respondents were the middle level managers so we took owners and managers there was a discussion sampling units were garment manufacturing export firms data collection instrument was questionnaire and it was a probability quota sampling which was applied the sample frame list of top 100 exporters was based on the turnover selected 37 out of the total exporters were selected belonging to the above cluster making it our sample frame and out of 37 we could only get the data at that point of time from 18 and thus achieving the response rate of 49% the exhaustive list of hr practices available in the secondary data was made this was sent to the hr managers recruitment and selection second was training third was performance appraisal and to my surprise fourth was compensation people have moved beyond compensation they are actually looking for right people at the right job the first objective top 5 parameters which were indicative of organizational performance were growth business performance financial performance employee performance and return on investment only on the basis of human capital so out of these five parameters only employee performance was taken up for this study where i'm just now will be sharing the results with you all the list of top 100 exporters respondents the questionnaire was constructed using five point like that scale survey engaged hr heads managers survey data was collected through meetings emails discussions etc findings 
all the variables recruitment selection performance appraisal training and compensation had a strong positive correlation with employee effectiveness and efficiency however all the variables have a strong negative correlation with employee turnover suggesting that with better practices employee turnover decreases and vice versa out of recruitment and up recruitment and performance appraisal the maximum positive correlation came out through these two practices suggesting that with employing better recruitment and performance appraisal practices effectiveness of the employees can be improved you would be surprised to know that people wanted that their performance should be judged there should be an appraisal system but that appraisal system should definitely have a career progression it should not end up end it like a paper which has been just collected but they actually looked upon that yes with our performance there should be a career progression graph for all of us for the purpose of extracting the best practice in recruitment as well we considered variables having strongly agree response and they said skill based recruitment is very effective for the employee performance that is recruiting a person with a skill that is a middle level management i am talking about performance appraisal again when i said that 17% of the people said it should be growth oriented performance appraisal rather than just a performance appraisal performance appraisal also had maximum positive correlation with the efficiency of the employee suggesting that performance appraisal practices efficiency of the employee will increase again here also when we talked about performance appraisal in increasing of efficiency it was again related to growth oriented performance appraisal in selection we had maximum negative correlation with employee turnover suggesting that if the employees are selected well as per their skill and there is a scientific and rigorous method of selecting employees there will be lesser people who would leave your organization poor selection techniques methods can lead to high temp employee turnover from the same we selected managerial involvement was the most important thing which came out that whenever we are recruiting or selecting a person managerial involvement is necessary for the person or for recruiting a person or an employee so every hr manager actually thought that and this we also faced at nift when there was you know placement week only a hr manager if recruited a person within a month or two months either the student was not satisfied or the employer was not satisfied but if there is if the management also comes with the hr manager or the person for example the production manager is looking for a person under him if he also joins in for the placements that is a better 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 far better selection of a employee it is rather unlikely for companies to provide data related with their employee problems related to their workplace we really had these constraints the study measures the hr practices based only on a limited variables of organizational performance the study is limited in respect to degree of which the findings can be transferred <coughs> the findings we say have positive correlation the correlation i would like to emphasize here the positive correlation between performance appraisal and employee effectiveness is 0.988 suggesting that with better techniques employee effectiveness increases positive correlation between training which is 0.997 and employee efficiency suggesting better training and development techniques employee efficiency as also increases negative correlation between compensation and employee turnover suggest better not just better but competitive compensation in the industry employee turnover is lower indicating the presence of employees in the company so this is a summary of what i have just said that all the practices that is training performance appraisal compensation selection and recruitment have positive effect on employee effectiveness where in the type of practice which has been taken out is skill based recruitment when we talk about performance appraisal it has to be growth oriented appraisal 
When we talk about growth-oriented appraisal, it also increases the efficiency and selection where the managerial involvement is there. The turnover would be negative. That is, people would leave your organizations less. The research is a sample limited to only apparel export garment manufacturing units. It is a large and medium-scale export houses, selected large and medium export houses. The respondents are limited to only the concerned HRs. So it is limiting the perspective right now. The conclusion actually says the results of the study strongly support that the research problem as there is significant relation between employee performance with HRM practices. It also proves that HRM performance link that has been demonstrated in the Western Hemisphere also exists in Indian context. It can be said that more HR practices are in place, the more employees remain motivated to work effectively and efficiently and have lesser intention to leave the organization. I would just like to end my presentation here stating uh, wherein Dr. Bheda has always been telling this, that my business is not to shout and scream. My business is to share and develop. So I would request people sitting here as owners, as the HR managers, to kindly look into the HRM practice because we are way, 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 uh, you know, we are, we, are, we are just not with the any kind of hemisphere. Our HR practices are not up to the mark as in there is no comparison between any industry if we talk about today. So the textile industry has to really work on the HR practices. Thank you so much.